Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to connect this, the Elgato Stream Deck, to control your TriCaster. Now the Stream Deck comes in a few different sizes and is designed to help content creators run macros on different devices and now with the help of our professional services team you can use it to control functions on the TriCaster. Now this device is pretty dang awesome. Uh, you can customize it, add images to your buttons for quick triggering of macros, etc. Now since it is small, it doesn't give you full control over like every aspect of your TriCaster, like say a control panel or a central control would, uh, but it allows you to create some controls that you can easily get to and it's a great addition to an existing workflow to make your life in production land much easier. Now you can install this on a standalone Windows or Mac computer, which is also really cool. And in the next few episodes, I will go into detail about how to use this. But for this video today, I'm going to keep it simple and short. And I'm just going to show you where to find the new Tech Stream Deck plugin and how to set it up. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm going to start off on one of my standalone machines on my Windows PC here. And the first thing you'll need to do to get the Stream Deck connected is you'll need to A, uh, plug it in to your uh, laptop or desktop that you're going to be using to uh, control this. And then go to Elgato's website, elgato.com, and go to the downloads page and select the proper device you're going to be using. Again, there's a whole bunch of different models here. Uh, I'm just using the regular old Stream Deck. And then I can also install it on either Mac or Windows, so that's pretty cool. So if you have either of those machines, you are good to go. And then after you install it, you will see this, which is the Stream Deck Launcher. All right, now when you first get here, it's just going to be the blank software. You're going to need to download the New Tech plugin. Okay, so to do that, we'll go to this icon here in the top right and go to the store. And then at the top here, just type in new tech, and it should be the only plugin that pops up here. And just go ahead and install this. And once you've done that, it will show up over here on the right. And to configure this, uh, there is one step we need to follow here. So click this drop down arrow, and you'll see that there's a bunch of different options here from TriCaster Control, Trigger Macros, Live Story, uh, Teleprompter, Countdown Timer, uh, Spark Decode Preset. PTZ preset recall, job title, etc. Okay, but what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this first one here, this first module, which is TriCaster Control, and drop it onto any of these buttons, doesn't matter which. All right. And when we do this, this is where we need to uh, configure uh, this particular system. So what we're going to need to do first is under Function, let's click this drop down, and we'll go down to the bottom option, which is TriCaster Configuration. And this is where you're going to go to tell your Stream Deck which TriCaster you're going to be pointing to. Now, I'm using a TriCaster TC2, so let's go ahead and take a look at the IP address that we're going to need. And we'll do that by going to the Notification Center. And then right here at the bottom, you'll see that I have my IP address. So I'll just go ahead and type that over here. So there's a 10.20.3.10. Okay. And then the username and password, this is going to be the username and password that uh, you may have put on live panel. So typically it's going to be admin, admin. So admin for both, uh, unless you have gone through and uh, made a custom uh, username and password for your live panel. But once you do that, all you have to do now is just press connect to TriCaster. Give it a second, and boop, there we go. It'll show you the name of the TriCaster you're connected to, and you, from here, you're pretty much good to go. Now, you can go ahead and start playing around with these. You can start dragging different modules in here, etc. But I'll go ahead and give you a quick little preview of that, uh, of how to use this. So, for example, under Function, once we've done that, we don't need to do it again. We can now assign this to something else. So, you have options here for controlling your sources, your keyers, comps, uh, you can turn record on and off, stream on and off also uh, manipulate your audio mixer but I'm gonna go ahead and go to sources because I want to show you something here okay so for sources if I click this drop down under the source itself I have access to all my different sources that are on my TriCaster TC2 I'm going to select input 3 and 
for the uh, select on. Uh, whenever you press this button, this is what it will be assigned to. So if I sl put select on as preview right now, if I press that button, it will go to preview, or I can make it go to program. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press the button on my control deck. Right now, it doesn't have any lights on it because it is not selected yet. So whenever I press it, boom, it will now turn red. And if we go back to the TriCaster TC2, there it is. I have input number three on program. So let me go ahead and switch that back to something else because uh, there's some other fun, customizable things that you can do with the Stream Deck. So uh, right now, if I go to button, it currently is selected as single color. I can also select dual color, or I can pick video source, which will give you a real-time feed of your video that is on that input. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and there you go. Now, whenever you do that, you can even see here on my camera that I have a video feed coming through. Uh, the frame rate of this is going to be either one frame per second, two, or four. So that's pretty much what we're limited to on the Stream Deck. But it's pretty cool because now you can have that button showing off exactly what you have on your TriCaster. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'll go ahead and press her face and check it out. Bam. On my TC2, I have that coming through, and I have my video coming through on program, which is pretty dang cool. So you kind of get the concept here. You can do this with uh, your different video inputs, uh, also media players, you name it. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this. I highly recommend if you get one of these, start playing around with it and having some fun. Now, there'll be more to come, so stay tuned. All right, so this is pretty cool. In upcoming episodes, I will go into more detail on each of the Stream Deck New Tech actions, which, by the way, were created by our own New Tech Professional Services team that specializes in creating custom workflows for users. So if you need a custom setup or looking to learn more about New Tech products, check them out at newtech.com support slash professional dash services. You can also find more new tech tutorial videos like this one by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local reseller or you can visit our website, newtech.com. Also, don't forget to sign up for the New Tech TriCaster Director of the Year Awards for your chance to win some sweet new tech gear at newtech.com slash tdoty. And as always, if you're posting your work with New Tech equipment on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.